Hello and welcome to Vision Academy. In this video, we are going to solve first PUC computer science MCQ questions on chapter number five, problem solving methodology. Let us begin with question number one. What is the first step in solving a problem? Options are A, analysis, B, solution, C, coding, D, problem definition. So before we express our problem, we have to define it properly. So hence, option d that is problem definition is the right answer now let us go for question number two which of the following design tool is used in problem solving options are a algorithm b debugging c coding d testing so in a designing phase we are going to write an algorithm hence option a algorithm is the right answer let us move on to question number three algorithm is a option a step by step process for a program b step by step process for a solution c step by step process for a flowchart option d step by step process for coding so here option c step by step process for a flowchart is the right answer now let us move on to question number four a step by step finite set of instructions to solve a well defined problem option a algorithm b flowchart c coding d testing so here algorithm is a step by step finite set of instructions to solve a well defined problem question number 5 diagrammatic or pictorial representation of an algorithm option a debugging b flowchart c coding d testing here option b flowchart is a diagrammatical or pictorial representation of an algorithm hence option b is the right answer question number six the symbol rectangle represent option a input b output c process d end so here rectangle always represent process manipulation or calculation hence option c is the right answer question number seven which of the following specifies only the flow of operation of an algorithm options are a program flowchart b system flowchart c coding d testing so here option a program flowchart is the right answer now let us move on to the next question that is question number eight which of the following specifies overall view of computer system environment in addition to the flow of operation for an algorithm or program to be solved options are a program flowchart b system flowchart c coding d testing so whenever computer system environment is taken then we have to take a system flowchart hence option b is the right answer question number nine the amount of memory needed by the algorithm to complete its run option a base complexity b time complexity c flowchart d pseudo code here amount of memory that represent space complexity hence option a is the right answer question 10 the num uh, the amount of time needed by the algorithm to complete its run option a space complexity time complexity flowchart pseudo code here time complexity is the right answer because the amount of time needed by the algorithm to complete its run question number 11 the narrative description of the flow and logic of the intended program written in plain language that expresses each step of the algorithm option a space complexity b time complexity c flowchart d pseudo code here option d pseudo code is the right answer Question number 12, a shorthand notation for the control structure and other elements of a programming language is A, space complexity, B, time complexity, C, flowchart, D, pseudocode. So here shorthand notation can be represented with the help of pseudocode, hence option D is the right answer. Question number 13, the process of translating the algorithm or flowchart into its syntax of a given programming language a coding b debugging c testing d documentation after writing 
algorithm and converting the same into flowchart the next step is coding hence option a coding is the right answer question number 14 the process of finding or identifying and correcting or removing the errors or bugs option a coding b debugging c testing d documentation the process of finding and correcting or removal of error is called debugging so hence option b is the right answer question number 15 the process of running the program executing all its instructions and checking the logic by entering sample data to check the output option a coding b debugging c testing d documentation here c testing is the right answer it's a process of giving sample data to the written program and we are going to check out the output against input hence it is called a testing question number 16 an error occurs when grammatical rules of the programming language is violated option a syntax error b semantic error c runtime error d logical error so whenever there is a grammatical mistake in a programming language then syntax error occurs hence option a is the right answer question number 17 an error occurs due to improper use of statements in programming language option a syntax error b semantic error c runtime error d logical error so here improper use of statement gives semantic error so here it is meaningless statement hence it is called a semantic error hence option b is the right answer question number 18 an error occurs when there are mistakes in logic of the program options are a syntax error b semantic error c runtime error d logical error so when they, whenever there are a logical problems logical mistakes then such error is called logical error hence option d is the right answer question number 19 an error occurred during the runtime options are a syntax error b semantic error c runtime error d logical error so whenever error occurs at the time of its execution then it is runtime error hence option c is the right answer question number 20 a reference material which explains the use and maintenance of the program application for which it has been written option a algorithm b flowchart c coding d documentation so reference material is called documentation hence option d documentation is the right answer question number 21 the technical documentation is option a algorithm b flowchart c internal documentation d external documentation so internal documentation consisting of technical aspects of the program hence option c internal documentation is the right answer question number 22 the documentation which contains the program or application is supported with additional textual information options are a algorithm b flowchart c internal documentation d external documentation so here option d external documentation is the right answer question number 23 which of the following is not a programming construct here option a sequential construct b selection construct c iterative construct d all of the above so all the three of these are the programming construct hence option d all of the above is the right answer question number 24 in which construct the program statements are executed one after another in a sequence options are a sequential construct b selection construct c iterative construct uh, d all of the above here option a sequential construct is the right answer question number 25 which of the following programming construct is a conditional construct a sequential construct b selection construct c iteration construct d all of the above here selection constructs are also called conditional constructs hence b is the right answer question number 26 which of the following is not a selection construct option a if b nested if c for d switch here option c for is a iterative construct hence it is not a selection construct here if 
nested if and switch all these three are selection statements here not a selection statement is for hence c is the right answer question number 27 which of the following is a one way branch statement option a if b if else c if else if d nested if so here one way branching is simple if statement hence option a is the right answer question number 28 which of the following is a two way branch statement option a if b if else c if else if d nested if so here two way branching is if else statement hence option b is the right answer question number 29 which of the following is a multiple way branch statement option a if b if else c if else if d nested if so here option c if else if is a multiple way branch statement question number 30 which of the following is a multiple selection construct option a if b if else c if else if d switch here d is the right answer 31 one if statement within another if statement is option a if b if else c if else if d nested if so one if statement is enclosed within another if statement is called nested if statement hence option d is the right answer question number 32 one if statement within another if statement is again we got the same question and the answer is same option d that is nested if statement question number 33 in which construct the program statements are executed repeatedly until condition is satisfied option a sequential construct b selection construct c iteration construct d all of the above so here certain set of instructions will get repeatedly executed until certain condition is satisfied are called iteration construct hence option c is the right answer question number 34 which of the following is not a conditional looping option a while b do while c for d none here option c for loop is not a conditional looping construct question number 35 which of the following is an unconditional looping option a while b do while c for d none so unconditional looping construct is for hence c is the right option question number 36 which of the following is a pre tested statement option a while b do while c for d if so here while is going to check the condition before the control enters into the body of while hence option a while is the correct answer question number 37 which of the following is a post tested statement option a while b do while c for d if so here option b do while is the right answer because at least once the set of statements will get executed before checking the condition hence it is called post tested statement question number 38 which of the following is a fixed execution statement option a while b do while c for d if so here c for loop is the right answer because whenever there are fixed number of iterations to be executed known by the programmer in that situation we have to use for loop question number 39 which statement checks the condition at the beginning of the structure option a while b do while c for d if so here option a while is a pre tested looping construct hence it is going to check the condition at the beginning of the structure hence option a while is the right answer question number 40 which statement checks the condition at the end of the structure option a while b do while c for d if so here b do while is the right answer question number 41 following is not a characteristic of a good program uh, option a modification b portability c flexibility d machine independent so here option d machine independent is the right answer now we'll go for question number 
dividing a problem into sub problems and further dividing the sub problems into smaller sub problems until it leads to sub problems that can be implemented as program statements option a top down design b bottom up design c stepwise refinement d modular programming here option a top down design is the right answer question number 43 the approach reverses the top down design option a top down design b bottom up design c stepwise refinement d modular programming so reverse of top down is bottom up so hence option b bottom up design is the right answer question number 44 the process of breaking down the problem at each stage to obtain a computer solution option a top down design b bottom up design c stepwise refinement d modular programming here option c stepwise refinement is the correct answer question number 45 the process of splitting the lengthier and complex programs into number of smaller units option a top down design b bottom up design c stepwise refinement d modularization modular programming here option d is the right answer that's all in this video thank you very much for watching this video we will see you in the next video